So guys, 2008, we had one of the biggest stock market crashes. 40% uh, down from the all-time high, that was for the NASDAQ. Now 2022, we also have the same. 35% down from the all-time high, currently, is what we're sitting at. Look, I've made some bold predictions in 2021, uh, late 2021, I made some of that public, and I made some of that public to my chat rooms as well. And I told you guys, I sold everything, I'm waiting for the crash, and surely it followed 35% down from the all time high, guys. So I'm coming back with another prediction, and I'm telling you guys here that the market, historically speaking, when you crash a market, is 50 uh, to 40% crash. Similarly, in 2020, but 2020 was even bigger because the whole economy got shut down, so there was no activities at all, and it still crashed by uh, 30, 40% or 50%. Here. The economy is active. The only thing affecting the market right now is GDP decline and inflation. Now, think of inflation as this pressure on top of the stock market. Once you release the pressure, stock market pops back up, but it doesn't shoot up all the way to the top because there will be other factors waiting for it and catalysts investors are waiting for to take the stock market even higher. So the first factor is inflation and the Federal Reserves are working on this and I believe inflation will get taken care of guys eventually just because it's not the first time we've had inflation. We have inflation every couple of years and it gets taken care of. So, inflation will be taken care of. Once that's taken care of, once they see a little drop and investors see a little drop in the rate, it's not increasing, it's not gaining, and it's just dropping below, you will notice the stock market, the crypto market, everything just pops up. But it doesn't just shoot up, right? All the way to the top. It pops up and it gains a little bit. Then it goes sideways again. Then they wait for the next catalysts. The next catalyst will be GDP. And here is what I believe, guys. When you take care of inflation, you will take care of the GDP. Because in a recession, and I believe we're in one, guys, it's not official, but I believe we are in a recession. In a recession, GDP growth is really uh, something a lot of investors will be looking at because it shows that companies are producing, consumers are spending. But because you have inflation, GDP also suffered. And that's not to talk about the supply chain issue, which I believe they'll find another route for. But when you take care of inflation, GDP takes care of itself. Because now you have consumers spending because they can afford stuff. Companies can now afford to buy more material to manufacture and, and meet all the demand out there. So the first step would be inflation. You take care of that, things pop back up. Then GDP follows, things pop back up. And then we go, in, in this sideways movement for a couple of months, guys, before things start popping back up. Now, what I believe is, and I put my money where my mouth is because I actually started buying up stocks, uh, but on a small scale, adding 10% every couple of months. Um, and not just that, I recently also purchased a couple of Bitcoins. So with that being said, you will go through this phase or this, this, this area where you could go for, for a couple of months with just sideways movement, the market doesn't gain, it doesn't drop, it just goes sideways. And that's because investors will be waiting for earner reports and this and that. And I'm only telling you this is because I've been in this before, guys, a couple of years ago. Uh, not in a crash, but I've been this, I've been in a bear market before, and that's exactly what it is. And that's how we will act and go. So, what I believe is the window of opportunity is closing for everybody. If you're looking for the next book, this is it, guys. Because a lot of people would have said, I wish I was born in 2000 and whatever, uh, to, to, to uh, notice and, and, and feel the 2008 crash so I can take the opportunities. Well, here you are, right? Here you are. You're in 2022, and it's the same thing. So, with that being said, guys, uh, it's time to risk whatever you can afford to risk. And of course, I'm not here encouraging everybody. It's only those who can afford to take risks and do not show up when things are looking good because you're too late, right? You're too late for the party. Do not show up when things are looking good. Uh, only show up when things are looking bad, and that's where you take up advantage of opportunities. But it will be a waiting game, and that's one thing many people don't have on their uh, watch is, is time. 
So it is a waiting game. You have to wait. You have to endure everything. And that's why you always have to invest money you can afford to live without. So you don't have to worry about the capital being invested and stuck in this thing. So in a couple of years time, maybe a few months time, we never know how fast the market will rebound. If the market crashed by a thousand points in one week, it could always rebound by a thousand points in one week. That's how fast recoveries are, guys, in this stock market. So, uh, that's me done. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll see you guys for more of these short clips. Uh, this is just me sharing my knowledge with you. Look at the description for some resources and follow me on social media as well. Peace.